So I wanna just kinda of show a project I've been working on. My uh, CNC table saw. Uh, took it from a, a rigid job saw and stripped everything out and made everything uh, uh, controlled by stepper motors. And I made an app for it. So, so this is the, uh, the app that I created uh, for my CNC table saw. So first thing that comes up, you unlock it and it pulls in all the uh, information from Gerbil gives you the readout of where it is currently. It hasn't been homed yet. Um, uh, but uh, you can come over here to this page here. This is all your all of your settings that you can change in Gerbil as far as like your stepper motor control and direction, homing, all that stuff. A um, couple of uh, settings here are specific to the, the saw itself. Um, these pertain to the router bit, uh, whether you want the fence to be zeroed off the edge of the bit or the center of the bit. Um, put in the diameter of the blade. Uh, here's where you put in the length and the diameter of the router bit so that it all calculates outright. Uh, what you want your feed rate to be, uh, your display fresh refresh rate. Um, these are all your work offsets uh, that you set up. So this is stuff that once you set it, you won't, you won't really touch it again because it's uh, set to the, the machine itself. And then I'm working on a, another page that'll be custom cuts uh, so you can just enter a few numbers and it'll go ahead and create uh, the G code needed so that you push a button uh, through each step and it'll go ahead and, and uh, advance uh, all the different settings it needs to. Um, come back to the main page, you can swipe over for your keypad. Um, this gives you your readouts from Gerbil so you can make sure that your G code's coming across correct. Um, but uh, uh, then all you have to do is you hit the home button the first thing that it does is it lowers the blade down and the router bit and then it'll automatically adjust the, uh, the blade tilt and then after that's done the next thing it does is it'll adjust the or home the, the fence so after the homing process is done uh, there's all the readouts it's where everything is located the fence is 31 and a little over 5 eighths away. Blade is up about 5 eighths of an inch. Uh, the blade tilt, uh, it steps off of the home, so it's off a little bit, and then the router bit is down. So I have a couple presets here. So these are uh, saw preset and router preset. Automatically, um, the saw preset will go ahead and bring the, the blade to zero on both the uh, blade lift and the tilt router preset and it'll bring the fence over to an inch within the blade and then the router preset will bring the router bit up to zero and the fence within I believe three eighths of the of the router bit. Um, then there's a couple of memory presets you can use so that if you're going to be um, reusing the same uh, distances on the fence and the same angles on the blade and the height of the blade uh, a number of different times but you have to go back and forth you can preset everything and it'll go ahead and uh, automatically uh, save those. So you can just hit the, the preset button. It'll automatically move everything in. So here's, uh, here's what the saw preset looks like. So it moves the router bit down, moves the fence over, and it moves the blade down and to zero at the same time. And you can see there the fence is within one inch, uh, inch and 12, 12 thousandths blades at zero, the belly blade tilts at zero, and it moves the router bit down so it takes it out of the, out of the position of the, of the fence. All right, so now I've come to the other side of the saw. Um, so now you can go ahead and see how the router preset is. So you hit the router preset, moves the fence over, and it moves the router bit up to zero. So it gets everything ready to wherever you need it. I figured I'd show you a couple of the presets in action. So um, say for example, you want your you want your fence to be at 3.25 inches away. And you want your blade to be at one inch uh, with a tilt of 22 and a half degrees. So you can go ahead and if you have that set and you need to be able to reuse that, you can go ahead and just press and hold. Now it says that uh, memory one has been set, so you can go ahead and click OK. So now if you're going to use another one, so say now this time 
it's going to be at a the blade is going to be at a 45 degree angle and uh, your fence is going to be say at um, uh, say 5.125 inches so now if you need to go back to the previous one oh actually you'd set the set that here you go ahead and press and hold number two now two is set so now if you need to go back to um, preset number one you just hold preset number one and everything moves and you can see 3.25 one inch 22 and a half degrees and if you need to go to position number two There's 5.125, one inch, 45 degrees. Anyhow, that's what I wanted to show. Uh, project I've been working on for a while. Uh, it has uh, been, been a long time coming, but I finally got everything finished up and dialed in on it, and it works pretty good. Everything's pretty accurate. Uh, the degrees of the blade are uh, within um, point, uh, point 0.2 to point 0.5 degrees is the accuracy. Um, on the angle, um, everything else is within a couple of thousandths of accurate, uh, so it's um, I'm pretty happy with it. So, if you want, uh, if you want to know how I did anything, just go ahead and uh, message me, and I'll I'll share all my stuff that I did with it. So.